key takeaways from church here. When you know your friends are fucking losers, dude, and you're starting to think that, your friends are fucking losers. Fuck them. New Apple VR is gonna lead to weirder porn because you're gonna see your mom in the actual porn videos. What? Fix that. Zion, stop coming inside of random women. I don't even do that, and I'm a 23-year-old fucking idiot. And yeah, you're maybe. blasting nuts around, and you make $50 million a year. That's a stop it. Don't shoot off mortars outside of synagogues, maybe. The cops are gonna come. Hey, how y'all doing, baby girl? It doesn't matter if you got a big booty or a flat booty. I'm coming to get that booty. Welcome to the Iglesia. What, what the fuck? Church. Welcome back to church, everyone. I don't know what that was, but okay. we're trying to build a mosque here in Tempe, so um, that's why I think I might be relocating. But um, yeah, it's great. Uh, so I don't know what's really going on over there, down yonder on the East Coast, but uh, shit's been on fire. It's kind of cool, but we'll far. get to that later. It is on fire. Well, no, the West. Yeah, the East is on fire. Yeah, I was like, oh, New York's in the East. Hawaii. But no, I want to start off spicy. I want to start off spicy with this. My boy, Zion Williamson, show a picture of this muscle meat of a man. Ginormous fucking I'm holding him. absolute animal. Um, <laughs> didn't mean that in a racist way. Why'd you say that? Where is it? I'm going to find the Zion tweet. All right, so this all started off. Zion, he posted some pictures with his, I guess... Not his girlfriend, his baby mama, saying like, oh, we're pregnant, we're having kids. But this girl clapped back, and this girl said, uh, I'm going to read this tweet, because this tweet kind of sums it up perfectly. It says, after Zion Williamson posted his gender reveal video with alleged squirter, Akeem OnlyFans model, we're not going to give her a shout out. Um, this girl said she helped him get back in shape. Um, by having sex with them, and she hopes that she's not pregnant as well. And then she also had another tweet, and she said, Oh, wait, did I have the better one? Why did they write that? I was like, that She said, headline. Better better pray I'm not late too, because I'm definitely late. And let me find this other one. I don't know why I didn't save a picture, but I sent it to my why friends. Why did they say got, This one's the really bad Legend one. Squirter. Oh, because she's, she's an OnlyFans actress, apparently. I haven't seen her work, but apparently she shoots like a fucking dolphin out of her pussy. This is a, we're gonna get take, this video taken down by starting this way, but whatever. That's like the headline. Yeah, alleged, that's why I was like, I need to read it this way. Squirter. Alleged squirter. But yeah, I love the way it started, bro. Oh no, where is this? Oh, did I put in the other one? Okay. Bear with me guys, bear with me, I know. But alleged squirter, like that's such a fucking interesting <laughs> way to, there it what, is. What, like what kind of article, what, what? What kind of headline? The alleged squirter. Okay, there it is. So, this is the most insane thing she said. She said, I let you spit. This is on Twitter. Oh my god. She said oh this on Twitter. God. No, it's she real. She said, it is this is real. Man. We can show the tweet if it's not deleted. If not, it's right here. I'll hold it here. But it's right here if it got deleted. She said, I let you spit in my mouth last week when we were... F when, oh, when we fucked. Sorry, it's like blurred out. I let you spit in my mouth last week when we fucked. You could have told me you had another whore pregnant. How is that going to work moving us both to New Orleans? You think I would have found out? Um, another thing lot, to put in perspective, this basketball player, down. he's my age. He's like 23. He might be younger. The alleged squirter. <laughs> and so to go on top of it, I, saw, her, I saw also... Her defense, you, I let you spit him in my mouth. So basically, <laughs> that one girl is mad. They're both like porn stars in some way. But his baby mama that he got pregnant, I saw on Twitter, you know, Boozy, Boozy Badass, the rapper. He tweeted some shit and he was like, that's crazy Zion got this girl pregnant when I fucked her for 60 bucks in 2014 off of back pages. And he posted a picture of the two of them hanging out. And everyone was like, what? What a tarnation. That's such a terrible. But... I'll put your feet on my. I hate that. <laughs> we have to sit extra I know, close. I know. But that's insane. So, like, he literally posted the picture and he, he provided the proof that she used to just fuck dudes on back pages for $60 just for straight up, like, however it works. 
But yeah, that's like the greatest comeback of all time. Like even better than like New England against Atlanta in the Super Bowl, 28 to three. Like she went from selling pussy, $60, just fucking some dude on the internet, to now being married, well not, not married, Jesus. Now having a baby with a man that makes, I think $55 million a she's year just playing basketball. With a girl who's an alleged squirter. And also she's <laughs> squirting too, the other girl. So like, that's a good little triangle. But I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like personally, if I was a woman, I would be very okay with that situation. If, Cause he's, all right, what's round it all together, endorsements, everything. He's making a hundred million dollars a year. He's probably not giving them any money. He will have to if he has a baby with her. I mean, it's how the world works, especially if you're famous. But isn't it, just, isn't it just child support? Like, yeah, but that's still a lot of money. Uh, Especially if he has money like that, the court will fuck him how up. How much you get in child support? Um, off the top of my head, I know that Kim Kardashian. Like thousand dollars. I know that Kim Kardashian gets like three hundred ten grand a month from Kanye. No, because that's their divorce too. That's their um. Everyone knows there's always a Hollywood relationship, and then then like. Child support's they, normally not a lot of money. It's the. It's I know, but we're, we're talking about the top one percent of people here. That's when it's different. Okay. Because they're required, I don't know. So why would their kid need at three hundred thousand dollars a month? They don't. They're just going to they elementary don't. school. I mean, they don't. They... And I don't want to dig on Zion either, but like, I mean, you know what he looks like, right? Yeah. He he's a, a great why basketball player. He makes a lot of money. It's like, he's yeah, like, what are you doing? You're I was not gonna say he's no homo. You're not ugly. Cool. You make good money. You're a cool guy. He's always been cool to me. <sighs> Ooh, sorry. No free shout outs, but uh, so. Root beer. No brand. Just root beer. But it's whatever. Why would you feel bad for a guy that's fucking a porn star and impregnating random ass women everywhere? Can't. I can't really feel bad like, for him I at that point. I don't feel him. bad if you're dumb. Fuck him. You're like basically a, a celebrity and like a one of the world's best basketball players. And yeah, you're that was kind of... Fucking porn stars. In, there's nothing wrong with fucking in, porn stars with them. No, but you're worse. impregnating them. Like it's, it's like when Drake fucked that random. Yeah, fucking condom. You know Drake's babies guys. with. Remember how it's like with that random stripper? Yeah. She, no offense to her. But like, no. pay attention. No, me, no offense to her. Like, she's n ugly. I don't know if it's just not my cup of tea, but like, if you're that rich and famous and make all that money, what are you doing fucking these like iffy ass bitches, bro? Well, on top of that, it's like. And they're anyway, gross. I'm sorry, they're gross. I wouldn't get pregnant with someone I... Like... Uh, do you mean? What you know what I'm saying? saying? I mean, of course they're not trying to if impregnate If you're a celebrity, these why would you... They're not trying not, to. Well, they're not being that careful, obviously. Yeah. So, like... Yeah. Why are you doing that? Well, I'd have, like... If I was a celebrity, I'd have on 17 condoms. To bed. Well, I mean, I know it's going to be recycled news, and I hate to bring it back up, because everyone's heard the story, but it's like... It's like uh, when they found out Drake poured hot sauce into his old condoms that he'd throw away. Mm -hmm. So if the girls tried to fuck him over and get pregnant without his consent, they get that's fucked true, up. But... He confirmed it. Yeah. Respect. I don't. Respect on that one. No, that's such a fucking violation and disgusting thing to do. I hope they get like, hurt. like, was anyone doing that? Yes. Okay, well, either way, he didn't care that much. Well, I mean, he learned after the first time. That's what, that's like, this is when this started. He was like, hey, I'm not doing this again. Adonis is it. No other ba babies with random bitches. He's not going to have babies with a random bitch if they go get the condom out of the trash and shove it in them. It's not, it, it's Weird like, conspiracy. You odds think, are... You think that could have happened when a, to make it his first son and only son? Because where does that come from for you to start the doing odds this? are very but, slim. But also, when you see the signs in stores that are like, don't drink at work, and you're like, well, who would do that? It's like, well, these signs were made for a reason. Someone did it. I'm saying, I think Drake started putting hot sauce in his condoms for a reason, because this happened before. Probably. You know? From just weirdos, and he probably yeah, was like, stop being a weird person. But I guess saying that his baby mama did it is kind of a reach. You know, I don't. Right? But that would be wild. I doubt it because... Imagine that's the way his son was born. Yeah, so, um... Actually, you know, I, w I wanted to talk about the fires in New York. We've been talking about too much. I don't give a fuck, bro. It looks I crazy. think it's funny. It's like, I was moving to the West Coast, and everyone's like, oh, you're moving to West Coast, and Arizona especially. The fire's there. It's so bad. You got to be careful. When How have you ever had a fire? You can't have fires outside because it's a high burn chance. You know, that's what I'm saying. The wild, the 
whole entire like Pocono forest caught on fire last summer. A couple summers ago, like half the state burned down. You see, like I'm saying. Yeah, but that's but, like far, far, like far. It was right? supposed to be done. Oh. Yeah. Don't redo it. <laughs> But no, before, fuck it. There's, there is yeah. a high burn risk though, you know? Okay. Like, you can't even have forest fires outside. Well, we just don't have any, like, we just have, like, rocks and sand. Okay. So, like, what's burning? There's an apartment in Mesa that burned for okay, four days apartment. straight without yeah. getting. Okay, so there's a high burn chance and risk, like I was saying. Okay, whatever. But, Jesus Christ, just leave this in, for fuck's sake. So, Arizona. As most people know, except for one, shit catches on fire because we're in I've a desert. I've never seen a fire. I've been here for like six years. We literally watched a building burn down the other day in Mesa. A building? So you've seen a fire. Yeah, but like a, any building can catch on fire. It can catch on fire and your boat can so catch you, on fire in the ocean. So are you saying the forest fires, do you think they just start by a tree just exploding and catching on fire? Baby. It's the same thing. Fires seen, start. I seen about like seven trees. Like there's no there's what? All right, That's Jesus turf Christ. outside. You're missing the whole entire point. But regardless, so <laughs> everyone's like fires are so bad. You're moving to the West Coast. California's burning down yeah, all the time. Yeah, We always have to worry about right. the shit. You're moving to a desert. Shit burns in the desert. We don't live in a fucking rainforest. But regardless, I think it's funny. Fire can't continue in sand. Time. Yeah, but it can in burnt. Shit, like in burnt shit. Wood, like in a, fire in a desert isn't a thing. But my fucking point, I think it is great that finally when I moved to the West Coast, there's been no fires, and now of course for the, like the first time ever in out of all places New York. I mean it's not a fire, but you can't even see the fucking sun because there's so much smoke from a fire in Canada. I saw some videos today and it was crazy. My friends put it on, I think, Snapchat. I had a lot of videos. I even had some, my mom sent me a picture of the sky on the way into work. Like, shit's crazy. It's like rolling underneath their apartment doors. And, like, they can't breathe. Like, they can't get away. It's crazy. Finds America. Don't go to New York. I've always hated New York. I'm going to be honest, too. I don't understand the okay, world to live so in. We're not going to die. One time I got an invite to go to New York City. And they were like, would you want to go with us to New York City? And I was like, yes. Yes. Oh my god, I've been dying to see. Are you ready? What do you think I was dying to see? Take a guess. The World Trade Center. The rats! I want to see the big. The Why did I rats. assume? I just assumed you were going to say World Trade Center, and I was like, here we go. It's not there. But you just said the no. rats, alright. I wanted to see like how big the rats actually are. I want to see, I want to see the New York no, rats. Is there no rats in Atlanta? No. I mean, like, we have like a mouse. Baltimore rats are like. What? You have the big rats? They're like, they're like cloud. I've never seen, okay, I have never seen like a, like, I've never seen a rat like that. And then when I was yeah. in my vet school stuff, hey, everyone remember rat, the comment rats the are the nicest animal in life, That's by the way. And you pick them up by their tail. If, That's how you will If them. you grab a rat in the city like that, you're going to die. It'll bite your fucking well, face Well, I'm that off. office, you're supposed to pick it up by its tail. Yeah, but I'm they're, saying. They're the most docile creatures. Yeah, but we're not talking about a vet office. You're talking about going to a big city right now and seeing <laughs> the rats and grabbing them. They will right. gnaw your fucking face They off. probably they are have than some cloud. kind of weird mutation. Every Anyone from any metropolitan big East Coast city, comment right now. If, am I wrong here? Rats are like this fucking big in East Coast cities. They're, That's why I want to They're little chihuahuas. Yeah, I just want to see the rats. No, and you don't. And I want to go home. I don't want to be there for anything else. I just want to... Oh, quick shout out real quick. Remember we went to that spring training game, number 44 with the chains? He got called the Alex <laughs> He got called up two days ago. No way! Wait, you should have called Alex! His his first at bat, he hit a double. He hit a double, right? And he hit it so hard it was the hardest hit ball of the year. It was 114 really? miles per hour. And then in his second game he had a home run. Let's go, Chain Boy. Shout out the boy. I forget go, his name. Go, Chain Boy. He wears my favorite number, 44. It's pretty rare in sports. So. I don't know. I forget your name, but I love it. Does him. your number change from spring oh, training to... Is Ellie De La yeah, Cruz. Yeah, He kept 44. What the f... His, number's Ellie, or his name's Ellie De La Cruz. That's it. Uh, it's kind of sick with Apple. Their new like VR headset they just came out. Because I saw it on there. It's also kind of spooky, too. But my favorite thing is... You can watch like NBA games now and pretty much sit courtside or almost inside the game and like it'll show up on your VR headset. I think that's fucking sick. That is really cool. 
and like you you can have it in your room and like watch LeBron like play on like your countertop or whatever. This is where it gets a little weird though, kind of like black mirror-ish. That's a hard word. But if someone walks up, there's a thing where it senses the person and it knows you're about to talk to them. So it shows you, it shows them your eyeballs and you can see them on your screen. Like let's say you come up and I'm playing like Call of Duty and you just walk up into my space, you'll be able to see my eyeballs and I'll be able to see my Call of Duty game, but you're inside of it. So this is my biggest issue and the thing I thought of immediately. Sorry, mom, I'm, I'm sorry. Imagine you're a young kid, you're 16. You're using your VR headset, you're jerking off, you're watching porn, and your mother walks into the room, she's gonna show up inside of the porn video. You VR, you can VR porn? Like oh, what, you don't know? Vegan? You don't know about VR porn? No. It, yeah, dude. No. Uh, yeah, VR porn. It's no. a big thing. Oh my god, I'm never having children. No. It's a big thing. Look at this. VR, like, Virtual reality like where they, porn. they think they're actually banging. Like it'll be like the camera's like on the guy's head and like it looks like you have you put on the goggles and like she's on top of you, like point of view, and like you're hitting it from behind. And usually these guys I know I'm going in detail, I swear to god, you can, she can be a character witness. I don't even have a VR headset, I just know people. Also, there's people that take it a step farther, and while they have the VR headset, they'll have like a fuck doll and they'll have like a pussy and like a body and like butt cheeks. They'll be clapping while wearing the VR headset. I personally know people with both of these. I just, that's my biggest fear. Like imagine that 16 year old kid, he's jerking him off watching a Bella Danger just smack some ass. And then he just sees his mom inside the video. We'll figure it out later. My day, he just figured it out. But I'm worried, bro. The future's getting too far. I don't fucking, I don't like that shit at all. I don't like it one bit, you know? You can just virtually bang. She's still stuck on the VR porn thing. Yeah, this has been a thing for a long time. VR porn's been around since like 2017. Um, so there was just side thing we saw last night. There was this guy, I didn't even believe it at first because it's such a fucking insane thing. But hear anyone say, especially you, but anyone. You were like, yeah, there's some guy outside shooting off rockets and mortars outside at the church right near my house. And I was like, one, what? Two, is this like a like a terrorist attack like based think on it was religion? Trying to be. Like is he trying to burn down a church? I think he just Also wasn't good. Holy shit. Do you, the church that's a Jewish thing. Yeah. Oh my god. That's why I was freaking out. Okay, I'm that's sorry. Why I, call, I called 911. When I prepared and I knew this story, I don't know why the whole time I was thinking it was just like a Christian church, but just knowing it was like a synagogue just adds some spice to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like a Hispanic kind of crazy man. He seemed a little, a little off, but he was putting mortars. Like, I'm not, that's not an exaggeration. In the middle of the road, there were seven in a straight line. And he was lighting them off. And then he had like smoke bombs and all the shit. It was so, I've never seen anything so fucking weird. Cause I was like about a park and I was like, Whatever. So it, it was like all these things and it was like throwing smoke bombs in my car and like it was weird. I also too like a smoke bomb. I never really you know, I've never been hit by a smoke bomb. You know what's scary? You can buy them at like a paintball or airsoft store. Probably, yeah. yeah. And it like was weird. anyone can get that. So I, I called the police and I couldn't get to the non emergency number. I kept like hanging up and I was like, I guess I'm gonna call an actual nine one one like I was like, I'm nervous. I would say a man with mortars and rockets. I smoke think that's bombs. like this is worth that qualifies. Yeah. Like I think. I don't know, and I just told them I said, Hey, I'm trying to reach a non emergency, but this guy's outside like he's like I think he's trying to like burn the church down outside. I'm not kidding. And then he, when I drove by, cause I had to turn around and he's throwing smoke bombs on my car while well, setting off mortars in the middle of the road. He uh, jumped the fence back into the church and like flipped over and like ran in and was trying to break in the door. And uh, I told the police, that. I was like, uh, I don't know. And I was like, bro, I gotta go. So. Shall they do? Yeah. I mean, it all started with Kanye. I just, the Jews can't really catch a break. I'm sorry about Cloud in the background. He's he's just getting a little upset because as you know, his owner is also Jewish. So it's a little, he's so Cloud, it's, it's, a it's a touchy topic Cloud's for Cloud. Jewish, kind of. Yeah, through Basically. ethnics, yeah. yeah. 
I think, yeah, he, I think he practices too. So he's like he's Jewish. Half Jewish. Like if my mom is Jewish, I'm Jewish. Yeah. Shout out BLP kosher right. on that note. Do be spitting for real. Oh, I BLP. Then you can add in a little yeah, details. Yeah, I can but wrap it up. Now as you guys so know, hard. there's that thing about the Duggars. I wouldn't have watched the 19 Kids Encounter. Good. But she kind of Locked forced me to when she it. pitched it this way. And then, hey, this is good for all the girlfriends out here that want to get your, your guys or get your friends to watch it. Because most guys don't care about 19 Kids Encounter, right? So she pitched it this way. She's like, dude, it's about like a cult because they're in this cult. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm kind of down. That's pretty cool. But basically, long story short, they're in this like Christian cult, probably really? evangelical yeah. shit. But they, they like really believe in just like, I mean, can't blame them, but keeping our woman kind of quiet and monotone. Love that. No, We're just kidding. in your I'm whole kidding. family. But no, the biggest thing was like God first, church second, wife third, and then family. Like that kind of like weird pyramid. And just keeping like the yeah, women like really God, quiet, just having them being like submissive to their husbands and then just like being a child bearer and pretty much the old way. And she, when we were watching this, she was like, holy shit, like, my ex-boyfriend's mom, like, and their family is really similar to this. I literally, I smoked. You can, oh, I, okay. everyone knows we, people smoke weed. It was in Arizona, it's a legal state. It's well, fine. I don't know if I'm allowed to say on, like, the internet. Yeah, it's, it's a, we're in a legal state. Uh, yeah. Anyways, and I wrote a whole note on my phone, and it was like, it was like, holy fucking shit. Ex-boyfriend's family is... IBLP. It's silly, goofy, weird. So they live, they live, they have like a hundred acres out in like Georgia or something. Yeah. And, and the Duggars are Southern too, right? Yeah. And like, Let's it's see. kind of, it's very similar. I don't know. I don't know. Well, keep going. I'm not a Duggar follower. But, I'll look it up. Um, keep going. But anyway, so they, they live all that, they're all next door neighbors and they like force our kids to like live next door to them. And like, they live on one street. Like they made their own. Like they live on a. Street. It's Baptist. My bad. Baptist, and they're from Arkansas, so a place in the south. But yeah, the Southern Baptist man. What can we say? You know, they're always also shit. Okay, there's a Southern Baptist, and there's Baptist. I just think it's kind of funny too. Southern that Baptist still isn't that bad. I'm not shitting on Southern Baptist. This is the trans month. This is the gay month. We're not talking about Southern Baptists. We're going to shit on them this month because we are for you I'm this month. I'm not Southern Baptist. Everyone, I want all my followers to go out to Target right now. I know we talked about it last week, but I want all of you, if you have a baby, buy that little onesie. Buy that bib of that big hairy woman with the fat tits and her pussy hanging out. And I put your one year old in that. I don't know what it is about that little weird drawing on it's the... It's so... It's so... It, it, it's I'm gross. Like, it's it has like pubes. <laughs> yeah. Like it. Just like a big I'm bellowing like, woman with fat tits, big old hairy and legs, like a and a bush. bush and her pussy hanging out. No, like, but I want all of my, I don't, I don't care how it thing? sounds, because we are fucking inclusive on this show. I want everyone to go out when you have kids, but if you're having a baby here in the next few months, or you have a baby now, if I don't see your kids posted online with me tagged, and that fat woman pussy pube shirt, no. then you guys are bad parents. No. You need your kids to be lesbian, gender queer, and everything before they even turn five. We're gonna get into the email here. <coughs> After I throw up. I did go to Comic Con and everyone was really nice. I highly recommend Comic Con. That's good to hear, especially for me hearing that. I always thought I wasn't weird enough to go to Comic Con even though I, I love was, anime. I was nervous. Yeah. Well, we got an email like, here. What? I was like, what do I wear? I just wear normal clothes. When I got there, nice people I ever met in my life. Goes a long way, guys. But hey, Comic Con. Let's get right into the email here. <laughs> so, we're going to read the email all the way through, and then we'll, we'll touch on the email, right? So, starts off, says, The older I get, the more I realize that most of my friends are absolute losers. I'm not making 100 k a year, but I'm doing all right. I don't want to sound like a weird ass, but I'm sick of the college slash frat bar culture. I grew out of it when I graduated, and I noticed that my friends never left that phase of life. We're all pushing 30, and they still go out on weekdays to drink at the local bar. I swear to God, they frequently sit around and reminisce about high school sports. They fall for the frequent scams like NFTs, Forex, Did I write and try to flex <laughs> their money, but they still live at home with their fucking parents. It drives me nuts. I also feel like an old man yelling at the moon complaining about this. And I kind of just want closure. 
Sorry, I wanted to dive deep into this, but didn't really want to send you an eight page essay. But in short, my biggest issues are the continued ex extreme drinking, still, they still do a shitload of childish drugs. We'll touch on that later. Cocaine. What the fuck does that mean? And they also complain when I'm, they also complain when I'm busy with my son or family. Right away, childish drugs, I'm assuming you still smoke weed by saying that, like, what's, what's childish drugs? Son. What does that even mean? No, because I feel like a Coke, oh. a, that's an adult drug. Not anymore, it's more like a kid drug. This business field is pretty common. I guess kid drugs are like, what, Molly and like, you couldn't even say Probably psychedelics because it's weird. I would Yankees say like take that. Molly shrooms. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess uh, stuff like that. Xanax. Yeah. Xanax is my first. But that's like the mom. And drug. I think cocaine. Like I think of a childish drug. I think like they're. We're getting pinned drugs. in this wormhole though. But that was a weird comment. I don't know either way. But whoever you are, I relate. Is yeah, I, I definitely first? get it. Yeah. It's um. That's my life. We were talking about this earlier, and your email kind of inspired me because I. I mean, yeah, I was just talking to my friends the other day, or today, actually, because of this email, and I realized, like, it really does suck. I'm only 23. I'll be turning 24 this year. Your perspective is different because you have a few more years on that one, but it's just, it is sad because, like, you'll even see, like, people having kids and shit, and it's like, you're you're still a fucking loser. It's like, dude, you, you work at, I can't even give examples because people think it's about them, but it's like, you work here, you do this, you, I, Hold on, before I even continue, if you think I'm talking about you and you get offended, I'm not. But also, if it offends you, that's sad. And maybe, I'm not saying it's about you, but deep down in your heart, you think it's about you so much that it is. But let me continue. If you live at home and, like, I don't know, man, like, with your parents and shit, like, you know who you are. And I kind of get what he's saying, because, like, I have friends, like, at least in Hartford County, like, the dude's, like, Every night of the week, they'll be like, yeah, let's fucking, let's go out the loonies, let's get drunk. And they hang out and talk about, like, playing lacrosse in high school. And it's like, buddy, you're 26. And, like, in high school, when they were graduating, like, yo, pick up a trade. It's such a good idea. And then they never finish that trade or somehow they're still doing it. And they're, like, doing some dumb shit. It's just, like, everyone has those people. And when you get older, you just realize, like, this sounds bad, but you are better than them. So you just got to leave them in the past. Am I wrong? Damn, I'm spitting, I guess. But yeah, some people are pieces of shit, and I'm also really happy to hear how you kind of got out of that little drinking thing, because I don't know, personally, it's just me, but every time I see, like, those kids, like, posting on their Snapchat stories and, like, their hometowns, drinking at the bars, like, going out on, like, a Monday night, it's, it's so fucking cringy to me. Like, mm. it makes me want to throw up almost. You're a fucking loser. Like, you're blacking out and then going home to mom's house and sleeping in the same bed that you used to fuck girls in in high school. Like, it's, that's sad. And then maybe in 10 years they're going to get married and they're still going to get drunk at that bar, but then they're going to take their kids to Disney once I'm a year. I'm surprised they're not already married with three. <laughs> yeah, most of them actually are. are I was going to say, like, oh but my. He said in here, this is, I know it would piss you off, but how they would, like, get upset and complain when you're busy with your son and family. Yeah, no. So that's when you know they're single with friends. It's like, that's sad. But it's also like, why are you upset about that? Them being upset about the kid? Yeah, like, get yeah, over it. because they're losers. Maybe. No, but, you have a son. Go take care of it. Who gives a fuck yeah. what anyone's saying to you? It doesn't matter. Because I know you said you sent this in because you wanted, like, closure. And you were pretty much saying, like, if I'm being a bitch, let me know. And that takes courage. And I want to say... I definitely don't think that he's being a bitch, and I don't think he's an old man yelling at the moon. I agree with this guy. I don't think so either. They're, they're complaining about your fucking kids. Fuck that. But I think there comes a point where you wake up one day and you realize, like, yeah. who, like that's not that's not a friend. That's not a that's not a friend. I mean, if you have children and you have things to do, you have you have. You have obligations now. But if also, don't cut them out for life because there will be, yeah. like she said, that one day when people wake up, they're going to wake up one day too and be like, holy fuck. Yeah, just wait till, then, wait till they have then that you can melt situation. Back. They're going to, yeah. guess who they're calling? You. You. Right away. So, and you'll be cool again. But, I'm sorry, I can't really dive deep, but yeah, like, dude, you hit it right on. God, he's so cute. <laughs> you hit it right on the head. You're not fucking crazy. Okay. Kick them out. So we'll end it here like we always do with the wrap-up wrap from church. Key takeaways from church here. 
when you know your friends are fucking losers, dude, and you're starting to think that, your friends are fucking losers. Fuck them. Yeah. And if... You're happier no matter what with that, I feel like. Yeah. Just be... Choose the happy route. Fuck them. And choose... Choose your kids. Choose yourself. Um, new Apple VR is going to lead to weirder porn because you're going to see your mom in the actual porn videos. What? Fix that. Uh, also, shout out the NHL reporter. If you pull up on a reporter on a little white girl, you're going to get fucking stiff armed like Derrick Henry. Zion, stop coming inside of random women. I don't even do that, and I'm a 23-year-old fucking idiot. And yeah, you're blasting right. nuts around, and you make $50 million a year. That's a stop good way to lose all your money. Um, also, don't shoot off mortars outside of synagogues, maybe. The cops are going to come. Fires in New York, about time. Because, you know, when I, if and when I ever return, maybe the fires will stop. But you know what is good? You know the last time New York was this smoky, filled with fire and smoke? It was 9-11. Thank you guys for coming out to church. I love you.